Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you three ways to combine or merge arrays in JavaScript. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, guys, so here I have two arrays. So first one is the doc that contain these three texts and the same for the second array that contain these three texts. So now let me show you the first uh, option or the first uh, way to uh, combine these two array together. So first one here is to use the concate. So now let's just quickly do that. I'm going to declare a new uh, variable called combined. And now let's just use the uh, concate. So the format will be use the first array dot concate. And inside this parenthesis, we will need to use the uh, second uh, array. All right, so it would look like this. And now let me just uh, console log this. So C, L, G, press on tab key and just quickly call that variable. So now let me save this and click on open the new terminal. And to run this, I just run node and the file name. So this will be combine array.js. And here you guys can see, take a look. We have this uh, array combined all together, right? So it is working. That is the um, use of uh, the uh, concate and this is only the first uh, version of using that. There's the other uh, version as well. So let me just show you that. It will be the same one, const combine equal to uh, just empty square bracket dot concate and this will be the first uh, array. And this is the second array. So this is um, another version that you can use. Um, so now let me just save that, quickly run this again and see if we get the same result. And here we go. This is the result that we get from using this format right here. So um, to me personally, I prefer to use this format because um, you can see um, if we were to use the first one here, it's just like we add this uh, array, the second one here on top of the uh, first one, right? Just add this to this. But if we were to use this format, it seemed like we just uh, combine the first one here with the second one. And uh, the result that you can see here, this create a completely new array. So um, now this is the first um, option or the first uh, solution is to use the uh, concate. So now let me just comment this as well. So using the concat and the a uh, second way that I'm going to show you now is using spread. So spread, uh, the syntax is very simple. So let me just uh, put a comment here. And the same thing, let's just use the combined variable. And then uh, the format would look like this, the square bracket, three dots. And this is the first array. And again, three dots, this is the second array. And that just simple as that. So now let me just uh, console log this. Just put it down here. And now let's just try to save and run this file again. Okay, so here you guys can see, this is the result that we get. We have the exact same result. So what is the difference between uh, the concave and spread? Well, let me just show you one example here. So now let me just comment this out. And down here, I'm going to just put concat vs spread. And now let me quickly create a function. All right, so this is the function that I just created. So which says combine array uh, spread, meaning that it is using the spread format. As you can see, we have two parameters and also returning uh, using this format here. So um, this is one way that you can declare using this format. The um, old one. So now I will also uh, show you how to use the ES6 format as well. So this will be the same name here. Just put it down here. Equal to uh, this will be array one and this is array two, which return using the arrow and this will just uh, return array one, three dot array two, just like that. Okay. And now let me start uh, defining a new array. So let's just say one, 
two and three but the problem of using spread is that let me show you now if the second one here is not the array instead it is just a pure string like that just an apple and now let's just uh, console log this so this will be combine array spread and the first array and the second one here is string right so so we just want to combine these two together so now let me just save this and run this file and here you can see the problems come so the first one here look fine one two three but the problem here is with the uh, combining the string to the array it just split this whole word into each character right so this is the problem of using this spread if you were to uh, combine uh, the other type rather than array uh, on top of the uh, to the array okay so that's the issue and now let's use a uh, concave to see if this problem still exists or not so let me just comment this out and we can actually copy this one here so it will be down here let's just say this is concat just paste it in and change this format so this will be empty square bracket concat array 1 and this is array 2 now down here let's just use the same array as well so this will be this one copy and paste it here and comment this down here let's just uh, do the uh, console log so this will be combine array spread actually this is not spread anymore so this will be concate copy that and paste it here and inside this we will need to provide the first array and this one is the string and now let's just take a look if we still have that same issue so rerun this and here you can see by using the concate this problem doesn't actually uh, exist anymore so this one two three and this is the uh, apple right so now we have um, look into using these two uh, format so first one is the uh, concave and the second one here is spread and I, now I'm going to show you the third uh, way or the third uh, option to combine these two array together okay so now let's just comment this one out as well and the third one here let's just put it down here this is going to be using the push okay so now let's just uh, try to create the same new variable this will be the dog um, so basically we still have the dog and cat right so dog dot push and I'm going to use the dot push and this will be the cat okay so now let's just console lock this and see if we have the array combined together so this is the uh, combine let's just save it and see if we have that oh we only get the result which is saying like 4 it only returned the number instead of um, the list of array so that's an issue how do we fix this well let me just show you now so the format would look like this this will be dog dot push and this is the second array and we can just quickly console log instead of putting into the new variable we can just uh, console log the dog right so now let's just run this and see we have the first array here and this is the second array but again this is another issue we can see that this is the uh, new array it just put it into the uh, first one so inside this first array so that's something that we don't want how do we fix this well we just need to add the three dot in front of the second array so it would look like this so this is the format and let's take a look again rerun this and here we go this is the result that we get from using the uh, dot push right so everything look all right and I want to also mention that using push it doesn't create a new array at all while using concave and using spread it create entirely new array so yep that's the three ways to merge or combine arrays in JavaScript I hope you like this video. Until then, see you guys in the next video.